We're always asked uh, what it's like uh, to have a laboratory and what does a laboratory look like. And uh, so um, I'll first talk about the people in the laboratory, which I think is the most important resource. Uh, we have a number of people in both of our labs, uh, probably about uh, 35 to 40 people working with us. And uh, that structure involves uh, postdoctoral fellows. These are people who've already done a PhD. And a number of those are even MD PhDs who are in their clinical training and now they're going to come to the lab to work with us. Um, these people are highly trained. Uh, it takes a lot to get to Children's Hospital. We have very selective uh, criteria for uh, taking somebody in the lab. But once they're there, they're going to start to execute a number of experiments that we think are interesting. Um, and they'll be working every day at the bench and also thinking about their projects around the clock, uh, trying to uh, work on disease models, cure disease, and think about the mechanisms of disease. George, maybe you could talk about the graduate students that are in the lab. Well, we're once again really privileged to be affiliated with Harvard Medical School. So our graduate students are Harvard graduate students. They're the best and the brightest from all over the world. Uh, and they will come to study in our laboratories for four to six years to earn their doctoral degree, to earn their PhD. And they will become the world's expert on their particular question. And we get the best, and so it's a very, very exciting stream of young talent to keep the, the, the innovation going. And uh, Children's Hospital does very well at attracting graduate students uh, from the medical school, so that's uh, also been exciting. Um, we also have technicians in the lab, and I think that uh, people, uh, these are people who we really appreciate. They're absolutely critical to the success of the, pro of the progress so that we have. Um, if you think about who's going to take the cells and put them in the dishes and make those embryonic stem cells or IPS cells, that's the technician force. Uh, for my laboratory, those uh, technicians, uh, we work on zebrafish. They may help feed the fish. All that work is uh, critical for our success. And so it's this group of people, the graduate students, the postdoctoral fellows, and the technicians who really uh, fuel the, the science. Yeah, definitely. I mean, science is uh, it's a team effort. Uh, we're like the coaches, uh, and we're really fortunate because we get incredibly talented players, uh, and they play different roles, and altogether the team ends up producing these new scientific breakthroughs.